right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great, counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giants! And now we're his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your hands, and I'll We've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. All right, single collar tie now. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this time. Ooh, what a punch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Bad punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Battling for hooks. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Defense. Right under the elbow, body to the right, he engages in the single collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften the box. In the clinch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had popped the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, a huge block there. Liver kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big call for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he is on point tonight. Nice combination. Over and over, he lands a big body. Oh! Oh, straight right. And just inches away. Round two winding down. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't hit her, don't hit her. I'm yelling headhunt in front of his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Beautiful leg kick throws the elbow there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, knee to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that hip. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Oh, 
huge block. Nice punch win. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. He has a bit of a kick tonight in his show. Single collar tie. Big oh, knee nice lands knee. there. And they set. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. What a punch. Oh. Big body kick lands. Big kick lands. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Checks the leg kick. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys throwing outside kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw. And that one appeared to stun him. Oh, big left. Knee to the body. What a punch. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. Nice punch lands over the top. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, misses with the jab. Back to the clinch. Muay Thai plump. Huge block there. Oh. He's, he's limping now. 15 seconds to go. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, round three coming up next. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Third 
Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Watch these to the body. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch from the clinch. Battle for position here. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Big punch. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Well, he's up. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Put him to sleep. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Single collar tie now. Whoa! He's out! Holy smokes! Woo! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Oh, 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 well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.